It was just another day at this quiet Delaware Guard base. I looked out at the crazy clouds. I've never seen such dark clouds and so low to the ground. And then all of a sudden the wind started going in every direction. And I could see the tails of two of the planes going all around in circles. The planes started flipping up on their edges, up on their wingtips. and Standing straight up and down on its wingtips, going down the uh, ramp area. Of the seven C-130s on the ground that day, four C-130s were damaged, one beyond repair. Uh, this is a, a radome from uh, on top of the airplane. That's when uh, two airplanes, tail end of one, was sitting on top of the uh, cockpit section of the other. The financial total of repairs? Staggering. Our basic estimate came down to about uh, 30 million, somewhere between 28.6 and and 32 million to get the, get our airplanes back in shape. Um, our priority now is is to work on the ones that hadn't been damaged. Um, try to get uh, three of our airplanes back into the flying schedule, and we'll we'll be able to do that uh, in relatively uh, quick order. For the Air Guardsmen here, quick order means about 90 days before they are back in operation. That is, if they can find all the parts they need. Everything from three wings to seven engines. The flight line wasn't the only place damaged by the tornado. There was another million dollars in damage to wide areas of the base. Despite all this, even while repairs are being made, this Air National Guard unit is supporting the war on terrorism, sending its airmen to Afghanistan and Iraq. Staff Sergeant Melissa Allen, Air Force News, Delaware.